Hello, good people. It's been almost one week since the Panda Touch launch, and we have been blown away by customer interest and demand. And we'd like to take this opportunity to speak about three points related to the Panda Touch. First, we want to speak about the disappointment of some people in being un unable to get discount units at launch and how we're going to help them out. Next, what are some exciting things that we have planned for the Panda Touch for the future? We'll look at that. And finally, there's a question that many have been asking about, and that is what guarantee do we have that Bamboo will not block the Panda Touch functionality? Well, let's jump right into the first point. Limited launch discounts. Well, many were excited for the Panda Touch launch. They woke up early, but there were only 200 units available at a discounted price. We made the mistake of allowing multiple discounted units per order. And some people were therefore able to get many units at a discount while others paid full price. Next time, of course, we're gonna limit it to one discounted unit per cart. We made a mistake this, this time. But to make it up to everyone, each Panda Touch order placed up until this point will get a $10 refund. You won't need to do anything. It's just gonna reflect in your account automatically. We're also pleased to announce that we've requested from Bamboo Lab to be able to donate a portion of each sale towards the Bamboo Lab Foundation that supports emerging 3D printing talents from developing countries. If they approve this quest, request, then all sales from that point onward would help toward this cause. Additionally, we'll also be donating a portion of each sale towards open source projects such as Clipper, Mainsail, and Voron. Once again, thank you for your support and sorry for not limiting those discounted orders to just one per cart. Now, let's talk about some of the exciting things that we have planned for the Panda Touch. First, the Panda Power. We are well into development of a device called the Panda Power. Now this is a small smart plug that fits to the power input of any Bamboo Lab printer, and it will be able to turn your printer on and off remotely, as well as using the touch screen of the Panda Touch. It will also pre provide precise power measurements of exactly how much power was consumed during a print or during standby operation. It has a USB port, which will allow you to power your Panda Touch separately so that the Panda Touch remains on even when the printer is turned off. Next, printer grouping. We've seen some YouTube reviews asking to be able to make more than one group. And as mentioned during the live stream, this is scheduled for release in a coming firmware update. You'll be able to create multiple groups and add your selection of printers to that group. If you don't want a printer to be in a particular group, you can just leave it as a standalone device and access and control it. Now an update that will be of interest to all you DIY enthusiasts. The Panda Touch actually has a younger sister, the Clipper Touch. The Clipper Touch is a wireless control pad that controls multiple Clipper printers via an intuitive UI. And while the product names may differ, the underlying hardware is the same. And so if you want to, you'll be able to freely switch between firmware versions and turn the Panda Touch into a Clipper Touch and vice versa. Now let's talk about that question that has been on many people's minds. Will Bamboo Lab block the functionality of the Panda Touch? I'd like to start off this discussion by reading a quote from Dr. Tao's blog post from just over one month ago on December the 6th, 2023. It reads, Bamboo Lab is open to collaboration with responsible partners we understand that the strength of a single company is limited and partners with innovation and quality products will enhance the ecosystem and fulfill our customers' various demands, which cannot be addressed by Bamboo Lab alone. When we launched our Kickstarter campaign, concerns were raised from the community that the proprietary design may limit the customer's choice on aftermarket components. Patents may block future innovation, and what Bamboo Lab will give back to the community after taking so much from it. Actions speak louder than words. What does this tell us? It tells us that Bamboo Lab are very open 
to embracing aftermarket parts, which add to the value of the ecosystem. However, Bamboo Labs still need to move in a direction that they feel is best for their customers in terms of security. And with that in mind, Bamboo Lab have informed us that at some point in the future, it's possible that they may encrypt the wireless connection that the Panda Touch relies on. I want to say it again to make sure that there's no confusion here. Bamboo Lab have assured us that they are thinking about doing this purely to boost the security of their products. This change will affect the Panda Touch as well as other projects like the X-Touch and Home Assistant integration. It would likely limit the ability of these projects to control things like homing, movement, heating, print speed, and perhaps even being able to start prints. After the change, these projects would still be able to monitor everything on the printer, such as error messages, printing state, and possibly even control a limited number of features. Other accessories, such as the Panda Power, would continue to work without any problems. So what options are there for Panda Touch owners? Well, Bamboo Lab have also mentioned that in the future, they plan to release an official API. The API will allow approved accessory developers to once again control printer functions. When that API is released, Bigtree Tech will seek approval from Bamboo Lab to use it and update the Panda Touch to work with it if the hardware is compatible and of course if Bamboo Lab grant approval. It's really important to note that all firmware currently on Bamboo Lab machines supports the Panda Touch and Bamboo Lab may only implement encryption in a distant firmware release. So for Panda Touch owners, you can be sure that your unit will work when you receive it. Additionally, Bigtree Tech will test all firmware versions that are coming from Bamboo Lab and let you know whether or not it's safe to update. If we find a beta firmware version that affects the Panda Touch functionality, we will send an email to all buyers letting them know. If an incompatible firmware is released, then you would need to remain on your current firmware version until there is more clarity from Bamboo Lab regarding the future API. Let's summarize the situation once more. All current firmware versions available to all Bamboo Lab printers support the Panda Touch. In the future, Bamboo Lab may release a security update with encryption that would limit the functionality of projects like the Panda Touch, X Touch, and Home Assistant. Bigtree Tech will monitor firmware updates and let all buyers know well in advance if it is safe to upgrade. In the future, Bamboo Lab has mentioned that they plan to release an official API which will re-enable control functionality and Bigtree Tech will seek approval from Bamboo Lab to implement that API on the Panda Touch provided that the hardware supports it. So, what if you have already purchased a Panda Touch and you prefer not to wait on a particular version of firmware until there's more clarity on an official API? Well, we will be sending out an email to all buyers letting them know the situation and offering them the option of a full refund if they want it. If you purchased via AliExpress, please check your messages as the info will be sent via AliChat. We are still absolutely committed to creating awesome accessories that add genuine value to the Bamboo Lab printer lineup. Peace out, stay awesome, and happy printing.